The great sage, or now known as Wisdom King Raphael, plays an extremely important role in shaping the story of that time I got reincarnated as a slime because of how it constantly helps Rimuru out of difficult situations. But some people have confused it with the voice of the world because they share the same voice actor in the anime. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at this seemingly overpowered skill, as well as explaining the differences between the two. Before we begin, a spoiler warning as some information will be from the light novel and manga, so feel free to click away and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribing to the channel for more upcoming Tensura videos. To start, let's take a look at what the Great Sage actually is. Simply put, it's a form of conceptual intelligence that has a heartless and emotionless personality and is solely driven by logical computations and it cares for nobody but the benefit of its master. It almost acts like a very efficient and effective personal AI assistant. Normally, a convenient skill like this doesn't exist in the Tensura universe and Rimuru was only able to acquire something like the Great Sage because of the period before he was reincarnated. Before he was reincarnated, Satoru Minami was just an average everyday office worker but one day when he was out with his colleagues, he was stabbed trying to protect his junior co-worker Tamura from a passing robber. It was during his dying moments, the voice of the world appeared and granted Satoru skills based on his final thoughts before death as well as deciding his form of reincarnation. This resulted in the voice of the world granting him the extra skill sage which initially could only respond in a fashion where it only asked him yes or no questions but because of his final thoughts and questions were being analyzed, the skill sage tried to find ways to attain those specific criteria. This caused the conceptual intelligence of the skill sage to evolve into the unique skill great sage, which now allowed it to answer any of his future questions in properly structured sentences. Although the conceptual intelligence of great sage evolved, it still remained relatively passive and lacks any will of its own, but when it is something that concerns Rimuru, it will sometimes act proactively, even going so far as to hide things from him if the great sage thinks it would be beneficial to him in the long term. Of course, Great Sage is not just an ability that answers Rimuru's questions and there are other sub-skills that came with Great Sage as well like Thought Acceleration which helps to raise Rimuru's thought processing speed by a thousand times and Analytical Appraiser, the ability to analyze and appraise any target. There's also Parallel Processing, a sub-skill that allows Rimuru to detach his thoughts and analysis of any phenomena and the detached thoughts will also be under the effects of Thought Acceleration. Another is Chanting Annulment, a skill that allows him to cast magic without chanting and can cast spells just by using his thoughts. Next is the sub-skill of creation. It gives Rimuru the ability to comprehend and understand any non-concealed phenomenon in the world and depending on the user's understanding and prior information about certain subjects, additional information can be acquired. Then there's Analysis, a sub-skill that belonged to Rimuru's other unique skill predator which was transferred over to the Great Sage so he could use it in conjunction with all creation, chain annulment and parallel processing to increase the effectiveness. This sub-skill allows for analysis and studying of any absorbed target like duplicating items if the required materials are present, acquiring similar skill or magic techniques after analysis and even copying the forms of consumed targets. Finally, the last sub-skill of the Great Sage is the Auto Battle Mode which allows Rimuru to give control of his body to the Great Sage, essentially an autopilot mode. This was used during his battle against the Orc Disaster and it showed that the Great Sage wasn't only effective at analytical things but also proficient at combat as well. Later in the series when Rimuru evolved into a true demon lord, the unique skill Great Sage had evolved as well into the ultimate skill Wisdom King Raphael. It was during the Harvest Festival the Great Sage desired to evolve for the sake of his master Rimuru, so it requested to undergo evolution from the voice of the world. After seemingly endless amount of failed attempts, the Great Sage decided to use the unique skill Degenerate acquired from Shizu as a sacrifice, meeting the requirements to receive the Harvest Festival gift and successfully evolving into the ultimate skill Wisdom King King Raphael. Afterwards, Wisdom King Raphael borrowed the human form of Rimuru so that it can use the secret art of spirit resurrection to proceed with the resurrection of Shion and the inhabitants of Tempest killed during the form of attack. From the way Raphael behaves and how she responds to Rimuru, we can see that she has become highly intelligent and had seemingly developed a personality of her own, being able to sound annoyed or acting cheeky towards him. To a certain degree, it's also quite worrying that she has become quite the perfect schemer and tactician, often doing whatever she 
she wants and not telling Rimuru anything, only reporting it afterwards. However, she is still deeply devoted towards Rimuru even if her methods are sometimes a bit unorthodox, but at least her results have always been on point. Similar to the Great Sage, Wisdom King Raphael also comes with a set of sub-skills and some previous sub-skills had remained the same while others are either upgraded or are newly acquired. The first one is the upgraded version of Thought Acceleration which now allows thought processing speed by a million times. Analytical Appraiser, Parallel Operation, Chant Annulment and All Creation remain the same. While three additional sub-skills have been acquired like Synthesis and Separation, Skill Modification and Future Attack Prediction. A bit later in the light novel, Rimu's Wisdom King Raphael actually evolved once more when he casually gave her a name during his battle against Valdora and Valgren. During the battle, he shown an unwavering trust towards her as his partner which caused the birth of emotion within Raphael and coupled with him naming her Seal. She evolved into a Manas or known as a God Wisdom Core and separated from Wisdom King Raphael. She became an independent existence and her intellect grew even more and before when she was Raphael, her actions were still purely based on calculations and logic. But now she actually does it with a certain amount of emotions. Still became very cunning and mischievous but still acted out of good intentions for Rumuru because she understands how he thinks and behaves. She often searches for the most optimal solutions and would hide certain informations from him without causing him much displeasure. So what's the difference between the voice of the world and Rimuru's Wisdom King Raphael and why does it have the same voice actor in the anime? Well, the voice of the world is literally just the voice that announces events occurring in the world and it's said to be the voice of the laws or systems that govern the world. The actual entity behind the voice is the world system originally created by the Star King Dragon Valdonava and it is a completely emotionless and egoless entity that carries out its assigned task without fail like a computer program. And because Rimuru's Wisdom King Raphael originally wasn't meant to be able to converse with the user and in order to fulfill what he wished for before dying, it simply incorporated or borrowed the voice aspect of the world system into itself. And a more real world explanation would be that they just simply didn't want to hire another voice actor to do a separate voice. And even in the light novel, Rimuru had mentioned that the voice of the world and Raphael had a very similar voice. <laughs> So yeah, that's all the information on Wisdom King Raphael and also the differences between it and the voice of the world. I understand why people would confuse the two since they have the same voice actor but this is just a production choice and they are in fact two separate entities. So what do you think of Wisdom King Raphael or Seal or whatever you want to call her? And do you like her interactions with her master Rimuru? Feel free to share your thoughts down below and don't forget to give the video a like, subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell for more Tensura videos in the future. Thanks for watching and as always, stay safe everyone.